Okay, so had a little technical difficulty here in that this uh, phone holder just popped off. So I'm trying to get it more secure. Um, when my house cleaners come, they move my light and it recently fell down. So trying to get that all squared away. Okay, I think we've got it. <laughs> okay, and we'll go ahead and <clears throat> go live over here. Um, oh, this has it going live automatically. I don't want that. go live now oh my gosh this one's all sideways what a mess okay uh, everything got loose on there so well it's just gonna be at a little bit of an angle I guess that's fine all right guys so we are here we are live um, it's been months since I did a live, like since April. Um, what a year it's been anyway. Uh, with, with uh, I was sick at the beginning of the year and just lost some traction. Trying to get everything back in my whole life, like not just um, my Pamper Jeff life, but like, like going back, getting back in the gym and everything. So if you guys ever experienced that, it's kind of where I'm at right now. So um, anyway, that I'm going to hopefully be able to. I wrote down what I wanted to talk to you guys about. And I'm so glad you're here going live both on YouTube and on Facebook. So um, wherever you're at, just go ahead and pop in, say hello. Let me know you're watching. Um, let me know, like, what is your biggest mealtime challenge? I can't wait to hear what your biggest mealtime challenges are. So, um, Anyway, so just a little bit about this live. We're going to start going. I'm going to start going live again, but um, this time we're going to do it on Wednesday nights. I was doing it on Tuesdays. Day Pamper Chef goes live every Tuesday night. So if you need the details on that, comment below, and I'd be happy to send you the details. Pamper Chef goes live every Tuesday night. So I wanted to find a night that was a little bit different, especially for my parties, and that wasn't so confusing. So. Wednesday it is, Wow Wednesday, starting up tonight. So I'll be here every Wednesday with tips and tricks and fun. The other cool thing about Wednesday is um, unless I'm traveling, which I do travel a lot, I will be here. Um, Wednesday, kind of, even if we leave, we might leave on a Thursday, we might get back on a Monday. Um, so I'm usually here on Wednesdays, so that's good. All right, so if you don't know me, I am a Pamper Chef consultant, and I've been a Pamper Chef consultant for about 25 years, over 25 years, and I love to help people um, find mealtime solutions. Like, that is my passion, is helping you find mealtime solutions. And um, I believe in cooking at home. Um, I believe cooking at home is really important to save money um, and save uh, time as well but also for your health you can control the so much more of the ingredients when you cook at home as opposed to when you go out to eat so um, if you've been following me for a while you know i i'm a fan of meal um meal boxes as well you're still cooking at home you're getting high quality ingredients um, and uh, really delicious recipes so if you're a foodie you like to try out a bunch of new things you definitely want to find a helper that's going to help you get some new ideas so meal boxes our taste bud subscription is a really great way to do this so um, but today i'm going to show you so we're going to do basics i'm going to show you um, some prep um, some some ways that you can use our new prep and store to help you save time and to help you save money in the kitchen. So, um, now, summer's ending. <laughs> um, like today, kids in Colorado went back to school. And so, I don't know about you, but maybe you feel like you're rushing around um, and you hate prepping dinner. Like when you get home from work or when you get home from picking your kids up, you're like, ugh, dinner, you know? Um, 
So, and then you end up compromising with shortcuts. And so we're, we're, I totally know how you feel and I'm gonna help give you some ideas that will hopefully help that with that. The other thing is that maybe you're buying packaged snacks, your, your kids are just chopping out of the pantry. Um, I can give you some ideas to help your kids to feel excited and energized about eating some healthy food as well. So, um, all right, let's get cooking. That's Pamper Chef's kind of new tagline and we're gonna be talking about that today. So. Hopefully my hair, so I need to have my glasses on so I can see what I wrote. Um, anyway, so one of the things that I often do is I buy bag salads. I love bag salads. They um, have kind of a variety of flavors. Um, I've been doing this for a long time and I just thought to myself like, why am I doing that? Like there is, um, I, can, I can have the same ingredients and make my own salads and it'll be a little cheaper to have salads for lunch and dinner if I've got the ingredients myself. So I grabbed some ingredients today that I love to put in my salads and then I can meal prep some chicken and keep that for the week as well. Um, just use my grill pan right here and cook some chicken or some pork chops or whatever. And, um, or I mean salmon, whatever you wanna cook. Um, you could use tuna fish, you can use canned foods as well. Um, and then I can put those on the salad and have a really delicious, yummy lunch. And then they can be a uh, side dish to my dinner. Um, replace that instead of rice or noodles or some other kind of grain. So, um, so anyway, so I love that um, having salads are easy to prep and eat. Um, and the cool thing is by having my ingredients kind of prepared separately, I can kind of mix and choose and not always have the same thing. Kind of like going to a salad bar. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. So um, what I'm going to do is um, I've got some, I wanted to show you this. I've got some berries already ready. So this is a new prep and store. So this is the prep and this is the store. So the prep and store comes with this cutting board and it has these things on the side that slide in and out. You can, you can put them on the side, one, right side, left side. You can put two on the front right here and they'll hold these little tubs. And so you can just scoot your veggies or your whatever, your prepped food just right in there. Okay, so I've already got some of the cabbage stuff right in there. This is gonna be my trash bowl. And it's just so much easier to put that trash right in there. And um, and then it'll be easy. I wanted to show you how it went on the side over here. It'll be easy to put the the finished food right over here on the side. You can do it right here at the same. I just, I kinda like to be belly up to the, to the counter. So um, I think that's cause I'm short. Anybody else have that problem? Anyway, I like to be belly up to the counter. So that's what we're gonna do. So, um, so the, this is the, prep area, nice cutting board, everything goes in the dishwasher. Everything you see here goes in the dishwasher. Isn't that nice? Um, then we've got these bins. So this is, the bin comes, they're clear bins. They have a divider in them, okay? The divider kind of sits in the middle. There's a little, it doesn't like clip in or anything. It just kind of sits there. And um, then there's this draining disc right here, which I have in the berries. You can put that down there. So like if your berries or, or something kind of, as it kind of starts to decompose, maybe it lets off a little moisture. You don't want the berries and stuff sitting in that. So this raises that above. You can kind of see that right there. This has um, blueberries and also I rinsed off everything. So there's water down in the bottom. And then it has uh, raspberries. So it's like a raspberry leaf in there. So I eat yogurt every morning and I put my blueberries and raspberries and strawberries on top of my yogurt. So this clips on and then um, if you want to have it fresh, like you haven't cut up your fruit or whatever, you can have the things open or you can have them closed for when you have cut up your food and you need to have it open so or closed. So that is that. Um, we're just going to store in here, okay? And I just store this in the fridge. This takes up the same amount of time, space as like a, so a six pack of sodas. These bases right here are refrigerator are freezer safe. So you put them in the freezer. They're like our cool and serves and they will um, get cold and then you can use this like a salad bar or like a taco bar or like a fruit bar, dessert bar, whatever. You can use it the same kind of way. So in the fridge though, I don't need these. So I'm going to take them out right now. And you usually just keep them in the freezer <clears throat> and that way this can go in here. So, okay, so you can see these are the different things that we're going to use. All right, so that's kind of how the whole thing works. That's a whole system, okay? Um, you can get, I have these right here because um, one of the things I did was I went ahead and prepped some oranges. 
Um, or these are clementines. I just went ahead and peeled them so that when you're wanting a snack, like I peeled them and then I pull, uh, pulled them in half. So um, if you're just kind of wanting a snack, you could go in there and grab half of a clementine or, or three halves of a clementine. And then this is grapes that I did the same thing with. And this, these are our um, prep and I think this is called Oh, I can't remember what they're called, but these lids are act like cutting boards. Now I, I just can't remember what it's called. I'll have to come back and add that in. So, all right, so let's go ahead and start with our cabbage. I got all excited about getting my stuff out, and I didn't finish getting everything out. So we're going to need that, and we're going to need the kernel cutter as well. So now, of course, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be able to find the kernel cutter in because I don't know why. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I have the cutter for the counter, but not the cutter itself. This is what happens when people other than yourself do dishes. Sometimes they don't get it put away correctly, so. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, Amazon wants to tell me that there's a package or something. Well, maybe we won't use the kernel cutter today. All right, so, um, so we're gonna start with the cabbage. All right, so I'm gonna take the cabbage, I just cut it in half, and I'm actually gonna cut these pieces down a little bit smaller because I want them to fit in the, um, in the chute. So I'm going to take this out in the food chute. All right, take this out. So I'm going to take this back right here and I'm going to put it on the, I have to rotate it around and put it on the flat. Okay, it's just a solid. And then I actually want it to be kind of big. So I'm going to put it up to the eight, which is the largest um, setting. Open it up. Down here. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like I've never done cabbage in here. A lot of times I use my, um, I use my uh, symbol slicer for cabbage. So we're just gonna stick this in here. I'll start with one. Open this up, this is a rapid prep mandolin. So if you want to make quick work out of your veggies and do some meal prep, this is the way to do it um, with this tool right here. Okay. That little cabbage piece didn't want to come out. I think it can fit two in here. What do you guys think? Okay. Rapid prep mandolin is so easy to use. We're actually going to use it for a couple of things today. Probably could have cut these a little bit uh, smaller. The, the, um, the slices made them a little bit smaller. But as you can see, this is a perfect size for this. Alright, so I'll take this, put all this trash right here, and this is all good to go. I'm actually going to put this in a, lar a little bit larger container because, um, because there's a little bit more. So that's actually going to go in a little bit larger container in my fridge. I also have some kale that's going to go in a larger container. Um, they come in bags, but I just find that everything kind of keeps better if I put it in airtight containers. So, so I've got this in here. Hmm, might not have to use some for dinner tonight. This is also good for using for making a stir fry. So if I'm going to have a stir fry and I've got, half, you know, this is just half of a head of cabbage. You can freeze it um, or you can use it for a couple of different meals. So we'll just put that in there. And then put this back in here. The next thing we're gonna do is our carrots. Okay? So move this out of the way. We're gonna do our carrots. So I did this video before and everybody was really crazy about this. This is our veggie peeler. And I love our veggie peeler because it goes forward and backward. And so most people go like this, do the loop. But I love the fact that when you go to peel, you can just peel just like drag it back and forth. It's a little bit easier. I didn't go down far enough on this. 
it's a little bit easier than just the peeling. It's a lot faster, especially when you've got a whole carrot. Okay. So you can see how fast that is. Okay. All right. So we've got those carrots there. That's the veggie peeler, dishwasher safe. Okay, look how easy it is to clean off my workspace. I'm just gonna slice these down. We're gonna grab this again. I want these slices to be a little thinner. So I am just gonna rotate this. One thing, make it a little bit, oh, I still want it to be flat. I'm gonna rotate it about halfway to make, it, to make the um, slices a little bit thinner. I'm gonna stick my big ones in here first. Okay. We'll wedge these in here. I could probably do both carrots all at one time. Grab my thing. One set of carrots. Mmm. Perfect for snacking. So these are going to go on one half of this container here. And then I'm going to do some julienne or matchstick carrots that are going to go on the other side. Okay, and so it kind of depends on, like, this is great for a stir fry. I love doing stir fries. I think I've done them um, for videos several times. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this disc and I'm going to rotate it to the one. Actually, I'm going to rotate it to the little waffle sign. And I'm going to take the top one and rotate it to the thin slices. And then I'm just going to take some baby cut carrots. Okay, these are just, you know, little baby carrots. You guys know what baby carrots are. Fill up that right there. And then I'm going to prep these. These will go in my salad. Okay. So then I have this right here. And this is going to go on the other side for my salads, okay? And so now I have these small ones. Now, have you ever cut up your broccoli and then not use the whole stem? You just threw it away or gave it to the dogs? Now you can use the whole stem. You just cut your broccoli stem up, drop it in here, and you can chop it up. Okay, so these are chopped, so we're gonna close the vent. Put that right there. I don't need this, so it's, it's going to just clip to the top right here. Clips to the top of the lid so I don't lose it. I've got those right there. I've got my cabbage. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is we're going to slice some onion, okay? Giant onion. I just wanted a little onion, but we got a giant onion. Okay, so I'm actually, I don't need a whole lot of onion. And I'm gonna go ahead and store, clip this. Now, onion is something else that you can definitely store in here. Um, my husband is allergic to onion, so I'll be storing my onion in a, um, in a closed container, okay? So, we're gonna do these in slices. So again, I need to move this back to the flat one and we'll put it on thin slices. wedges before I do it, then I get nice little um, pieces, small pieces. All right, this is an Ikea container. All my other small containers from Hamper Chef are all used up. So just be putting this in here. 
I'm doing this fast, so I'm getting, some of my veggies are getting a little mixed up. I am going to have to rinse this, though, before I do the next one. Okay. Because what's the next one? Oh, actually, I think that's it. I did do it the right way. I was worried that I did it the wrong way, and we don't need that anymore. And the last thing is the, the last item that we're going to do is the corn. So, now, the corn. I really would like to find this corn, this kernel cutter. And I just don't see it in here. It's a mystery what happens sometimes when my husband, usually it's my husband who emptied the dishwasher, possibly my son. Nope, I don't see it in here anywhere. So I don't know where that guy could have gone. Oh, here it is. So I have a system for putting stuff away in my kitchen. And um, I guess not everybody understands it. <laughs> All right, so cutting the kernels, I find that um, works best when you do it in a bowl. So this is the kernel cutter. We're just going to take the, because sometimes it explodes, we're just going to take the kernel off the corn. And these are fresh ears of corn. They're not cooked. Um, I love to put fresh corn on my salad. Okay, so we'll do that. It's real easy to do. I get kind of anal. I want to have it be right next to the bottom. We'll turn this over so I can get the other half. I want it to be right. I want to get all of that corn. Okay, so we're going to put it there and we're just going to put this in here. This is going to be the third one. So the um, two containers that come with the prep and store, they don't actually have um, the dividers and stuff, but they do fit on the prep and store right there. So that is that. So um, other things that you can use this prep and store for, you can use it for, um, I was gonna do radishes. So this, is, this was supposed to be half corn and half radishes, but I didn't get rad radishes in my grocery order. Sometimes that happens. Um, and, uh, and I had it picked up at like three o'clock today, 3.30 today, so didn't have time to make um, adjustments. But, um, but anyway, so um, you can use it for um, like an ice cream bar. If you wanted to put toppings for your ice cream in here, or you wanted to, actually if you just wanted to take an ice cream and put your ice cream on here and just put those cooling things on there, you could use it to keep your ice cream a little bit colder too. Um, you could use it for, um, let's see, what are some other things you can use it for? You can use it for a taco bar, you can use it for um, uh, fruits or snacks. That other thing I was gonna tell you about was snacks. So if you wanna chunk up some cheese, buy a cubed cheese and chunk up cheese and keep it in here. Um, put some fresh berries in there, you know, wash them and stick them in there. Um, so that the kids know that this is their go-to when they get home from school or you just pull it out and say, grab yourself some snacks and we're gonna start homework, you know, whatever works for you. And then I was gonna say for salads, um, it's great to have kind of a hard topper on your salad. Um, one of the things that I like to use for my toppers. Let's see if I can find it in here. They usually have it nice and handy, but I don't, I'm not seeing it. Um, is I like to use like chow mein noodles because they put they add a little crunchy to the top of the salad. You can kind of crunch them up, drop them on there. You can bake your own wontons and things like that. Um, but I just noticed that a lot of times when you buy a bag salad, they have like a little bread or a little crouton or a little wonton or something like that. So just buy some chow mein and you can put that on the top of your salad so um or some little bread or some little bread crumbs so you keep that keep it in an airtight container especially if you live in the south and um, then you can use it so hopefully that's some good ideas for you guys um the prep and store is um, going to be available for everybody starting september 1st 
but when you host a party in the month of August, you can get it for 60% off. So this is a host exclusive right now, and so only our hosts can get this um, this month in August, but then starting in September, everybody can get it. So you can buy just the prep set or just the store set, or you can buy the prep and store as a whole set together. So um, go ahead and share this video if you liked it and if you've got some ideas that you can share with your friends, um, somebody else who needs some meal prep ideas, um, go ahead and give me a follow, um, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you again next week. Bye.